I've been doing art full time for the past five years now. But when I first started making art, I started off with hats, which is kind of funny. I just finished graphic design in school at that time and I was just like, I don't want to do this for work. I don't want to work somewhere work corporate. I just don't like it. And me and one of my friends started getting these like trucker hats and we were like custom painting them and just like selling them on the street in Toronto. So that was my first endeavor. It is possible, it can be done. You have to put a lot of work in. It's not just sitting at your desk and drawing the whole time. A lot of it is like social media and getting yourself out there and like branding yourself and like emailing and contacting galleries and contacting shops and making prints and all the unfun, unglamorous things that people don't really realize. I'm trying to find a balance between art and work and I find doing other projects and not just drawing the whole time helps out a lot with that. The owl, it's like two little friends there. The real salmon jaws. Cats and raccoons are the main ones. Since I draw a lot of cats, I'm definitely drawn to that sort of feline energy. If I could be any animal, I would be a meow, guaranteed cat-owl hybrid. <laughs> that is my favorite animal. I feel like that is my spirit animal. They're my raccoons and cats. The meow is my spirit animal. <laughs> I've always really liked drawing animals and I've always liked doing magical animals. I felt just like doing regular animals kind of wasn't really enough for me. I wanted to add something more, something extra, combine different animals together and these sort of like mythical, magical creatures and they do live in parallel dimensions to ours. But with painting, usually when I start off, I just start off with like doing smaller drawings and kind of developing concepts like that. And usually there's one that really sticks out in my mind and I'm just like, oh, I really want to paint this. And that's usually what I end up like starting to work on painting. But usually when I'm painting, I'm painting like five or six different pieces kind of at the same time and like switching between which one I'm working on. It's never just like, there's just like one that I'm working on and that's it. I find it just kind of keeps things more interesting to have a variety of projects to work on at the same time. Plus I'm just really scattered too, so I need to have a little bit of this and a little bit of that. <laughs> kind of keep me interested in things. Right now I am working on refining my technical skills a lot more. So I'm just doing a lot of like little watercolor drawings. I've actually put a call out to my Instagram followers to send me photos in of themselves. Which is kind of cool, it takes me outside of like my comfort zone and kind of gets me just thinking technically about things instead of just drawing what I want to draw. Heart of Gold of the Cosmic Hive is the name of this painting. It's definitely influenced by psychedelics. <laughs> I would say there's no hiding that, but just kind of like the power of the mind and where things can take you if you just like let your mind open up to things. Energetically, I wanted to look in a certain way, and I wasn't sure exactly what that was. It was almost like trial and error to get to that point. Start having your heart center open and letting that bloom out into your mind and your whole experience. And of course, you have the cats, which are the keepers of the universe. They're a reoccurring symbol in my art. <laughs> I go to a lot of music festivals and I share my artwork with people there and I really enjoy doing that because I find a lot of inspiration there and there. people just get really stoked on creativity in general and people are just like playful and fun and yeah, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> the custom hats that I make, I enjoy wearing those at music festivals and kind of showcasing some of like the pieces that I've been working on. like. I've been putting a lot of my artwork on clothing lately too, so I try to wear those items and wearing the jewelry that I make, so it's kind of self-promotion for me too. Yeah. Also these, these pillows, I really love them. You can't tell how soft they are, but they are the softest pillows in the world. They're really amazing. I'm the worst at it. I go through bursts of it and I'm like, all right, I'm gonna post every single day. And I last for like three or four days. <laughs> and I don't post again for like another week or something. And I'm like, all right, I'm gonna do it again. It's gonna be really good. And then I post again for like maybe a week and then I just don't do it again. I don't know how people are able just to like maintain it and keep posting like every single day. Like, I just wanna hang out and just like draw and have somebody else do that stuff for me. <laughs> I always see myself doing some form of art at some point. What that will look like in the future, it's hard to say if I'm always gonna be drawing or painting or making jewelry. Maybe I'll start welding one day. Maybe I'll start building more sculptures. Like, I don't know where I'm gonna be, but I feel like it's gonna be something creative no matter what.